Hey everyone, it's Kenton Becker, American Pacific Mortgage. I am here with another weekly video tip for you. This week's tip, I wanna to talk to you about refinancing your home. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you talking about refinancing when interest rates are in the sixes and sometimes even 7%? How could that possibly make sense to refinance? Well, there is a strategy where refinancing could make a lot of financial sense, even now with interest rates a little bit higher. And I want to talk about specifically debt consolidation refinances. Would you be shocked to hear that right now, savings accounts for most American households are at all-time lows, while credit card balances are at some of the all-time highs. And just in the last 12 months alone, Pull up the stat here. We've seen the average interest rate on credit cards go from 14% up to over 20%, which is crazy. And on top of that, the average auto loan in America right now is over $800 per month, with 17% of those auto loans being over $1,000 a month. On the flip side of that, we are seeing that the average loan to value for most homeowners in America is 42%. You know what that means? Most homeowners in America have over 58% equity in their home just sitting there waiting to be tapped into. You might be saying, but why would you wanna tap into that equity? Well, I'm gonna share my screen here so you can see a little uh, kind of a sample of how this could actually make sense for the average home buyer. So what we have here up on the chart is showing a scenario where somebody actually owns their house. Their house is actually worth uh, around 550,000 currently, and they owe a loan balance somewhere around 282,000. This would be your typical scenario where maybe the homeowner purchased a home in 2018, 2019, and then maybe even they refinanced in 2020 or even 2021 to get those awesome low interest rates. Right now, I'm even saying that maybe they have an interest rate currently around 3%, which is great. And they would be getting a new interest rate at probably 6.5%. So again, you'd be looking at it and saying, why would you want to go backwards and have a payment that's almost $550 more than what you're currently paying right now? The reason why is these debts that you see here. Again, I mentioned that the average homeowner does have a number of debts, including an auto loan. And let's say that you had a Visa, a Discover card, a MasterCard, and you start adding those up, $20,000 balance on the Visa, $20,000 balance on the MasterCard, $10,000 balance on the Discover card, $45,000 remaining on your auto loan. And each one of those monthly payments based on a 20% interest rate average for a credit card or an 800 or even a thousand dollar auto loan payment. And you can very easily see where this scenario, this person has over $2,300 in additional debt payments. So what happens if you were, if you were to refinance that loan and pay off those debts? Well, we select all those debts and right there, you can see that $2,300 of monthly debt is now paid off and it only costs them an extra five, $550 on their mortgage payment, which saves them a total of $1,155 in monthly savings. And that's great. And that's a huge benefit to the borrower. But what if we actually took it a step further? And that's what this section is right here. What if we actually applied and did something really smart and applied that $1,155 towards their monthly mortgage. At that point, they would actually be shortening their loan, their new 30-year loan term down to only 13, uh, 13 years and five months, which saves them a total of 13 years and nine months off of their 30-year loan. This would actually save them over $171,000 over the life of their loan by doing this. So you can see that even increasing their interest rate from 3% up to 6.5% still paid off their home in half the time and saved them actually over $171,000 to do this. So we can do these simple numbers for you. This uh, calculation that you saw up on the screen, I can run this sample for you. I can plug in your numbers. Honestly, if you have quite a bit of equity in your home, but if you also have a little bit of credit card debt, an auto loan, maybe student loans, other types of debts that you would just like to wipe the slate clean and get rid of, it would be worth it to still look at your numbers. 
Don't just look at our current interest rates and go, no, refinancing is not the option. Because if we can save you by paying off all those higher interest rate credit cards, auto loans, and everything else, really save you a lot of money. And then if you reinvest that money back into your mortgage, it could kickstart you into financial freedom even better than you've ever dreamed. I'd be happy to run those numbers for you. Just give me a call, reach out. I'll put this calculation together for you and shoot it back out to you. But thank you so much for joining me on this weekly tip. Let me know if I can help you with any refinancing options.